Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Starix. I, I hope you're doing well during these tough times. Um, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your microphone sound really professional via OBS filters and stuff and settings. Really easy actually, it will only take like 5 minutes or so. But uh, before I just want to say that if you find this helpful or just enjoy the video, then like and maybe a sub, uh, sub it would mean a lot really. But now let's get into the actual video, okay? I also stream various games and on Twitch, so if you guys would maybe uh, show up my streams, chat with me, and just have some good times, that would be awesome, right? So first, you want to obviously uh, launch OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. Both work perfectly fine. It's basically the same, um, it's basically the same overlay or on everything, so it's the same process. And now you want to go down to Sources down here and select. Uh, audio input capture and uh, you want to press OK and choose which microphone you want to use. I'm going to use my, my Hyperx Quadcast. There, done and OK. Now we got my mic running over here. You can see my, the timeline right here. And um, what we want to do now is right click on this and click on filters, OK? Remember that now. Now we're going to go to the plus button. And here there are a lot of filters that will basically change your your audio. And the first thing there are okay, so the first thing is that an uh, either noise gate or noise suppression. And noise gate basically does so that um, if you have a really really loud background in your home, let's say you live with someone else and they are speaking at the same time, uh, or or you just you just have a really noisy background of siblings, etc then you, sh you need to use noise gate because this basically uh, eliminates all the sound in the background and it makes so only when you talk into the mic uh, it, it will basically capture the sound everything else will basically be eliminated and so as I said this only I should I suggest you only only use this if you have a really noisy background but I'm not gonna use this um, so basically if you don't have a noise background then noise suppression is what you want to use and here you just let it be at, mi at minus 30 db and this is basically the same thing kind of is it, um, it, it it eliminates some sort of sounds in the background it makes your your voice in the focus uh, ma mainly and that's what you want to use basically and now next thing is it uh, Next thing you want to use is Compressor, and here you can play around with these settings. I I'm not going to do that. This is the default settings, and I, I suggest that you use these because uh, they are good as they are, honestly. But if you feel like you need to change some stuff, then you feel free to do it. And what this does is basically it it adjusts this adjusts the audio a bit. It makes the voice much much clearer and yeah, it is, as I said, it just adjusts the audio and makes it very good. And the next filter is gain here, okay? And when you look at the audio mixer, mixer you want to make sure that your voice uh, is at the, like the end of the voice right here, as you can see now. Now is somewhere around here, where I'm having my mouse right now. So you want to um, basically try around and see when your voice comes up there so now for example it's, it goes up and uh, maybe like this yeah now you can see it right here and this is basically does so your voice becomes uh, you can hear your voice better and and now you're thinking well the voice is really really high now and that's why we're gonna use the limiter and as, you just want to make sure that you want to remember 4.60 or whatever db you have here and change it to minus whatever you had so i had 4.60 and basically what this is if you get for example scream in the mic or something uh this will it will um, if you don't have the limiter the gain will make so your mic literally don't doesn't sound good and your viewers will Back out of the stream um, automatically because your your voice will basically black out and you don't want that. So the limiter basically makes so uh, this this thing that the gain does uh, disappears or <laughs> that uh, doesn't take effect when you 
scream too loud in the mic. The release, keep it on 60 ms milliseconds, obviously. And this is honestly all the filters that you need. There are a few more I'm, that I'm not gonna go into, but you can uh, check it, like try some of these also. Um, but I'm not gonna do that. And that is basically it for today's video. It, I suggest that you try, uh, like, uh, try recording with with these settings and without these settings, and see what a big difference this actually does. Because it does make a big difference. It's like it's like day and night, really. You you will um, it'll it'll feel like a dream, really. Uh, but now I think that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please like in the video, subscribe. So now, for, and with that said, I'll see you next video. Peace.